Well, Deji, I hope you're okay. Uh, don't let the loss get to you too much. End of the day, you got paid and you still have millions of people that love you and your videos. So obviously me, like many other people over the weekend, saw you lose. Now for me, it was two things. It was very sad and it was also very disappointing. It was sad because we truly wanted you to win. I can't wait to see Deji win. As long as he trains, if he trains, he'll win. If he doesn't train, he'll get fucking slapped. Who the fuck is Vinny Hacker, man? Deji should slap that motherfucker, bro. Should absolutely slap him. And bro, Deji needs to train and slap him so hard, Deji could fight fucking anyone. We've watched you for years. We've seen you grow from this little kid playing scary games with me to the adult you've become now. So to see you lose, it, it really hurt me, man, and it, I'm sure it hurt many people uh, watching as well. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, <laughs> shame on me, fam. <laughs> now, Deji, I'm going to talk to you like no one else will around you because I'm your brother. All I want is the best for you. I don't want anything from you. I don't need anything from you. I just want you to do well. I want to help you. Plus, you know, public videos are the only way that get through to you these days since we don't really talk like that anymore. So I'm going to be real with you. Your work ethic is terrible. I am disappointed in your team and the people around you, man. How and why they thought it would be a good idea for you to enter the ring looking like that is beyond me, man. It was, it was embarrassing. Have they no shame or... Are they there just to massage your ego while you're still paying them and giving them clout? For that fight, you weren't fit. You weren't fit enough at all. So why would they allow you to enter the ring unfit like that? Deji, man, how the hell have you managed to look worse in your redemption fight? That's like as if AJ, after losing to Andy Ruiz, decides, oh, let me fight Tommy Fury. And then he loses again. Do you know how ridiculous that is? And it's not like as if Tommy Fury just beat him. Tommy Fury annihilated him. Do you know how unbelievable that is? You were in better shape fighting Jake Paul than you were fighting Vinny Hacker. How can you actually be proud to jump on that scale looking like this? We were all expecting you to show off your abs after all the hard work you've been putting in because this was your time to prove all the haters wrong after training five times a day and instead we get a junk food figure. And fam, you're using the same excuse that you used against Jake. You said that you gassed out in the Jake fight. That's why you lost. So we accepted that and we said, cool, in your next fight, hopefully you gassing out shouldn't be a problem at all. With the fight against Vinny Hacker, they niced you. They gave you two minute rounds and it was only five rounds. And somehow you gassed out quicker. <laughs> it took you only two rounds to gas out this time. I mean, please make it make sense. <laughs> it's crazy because you are so talented, man. Back in the day, you were so fast and explosive. And yes, you never needed to work hard. You were just naturally good at running and sports or whatever the fuck you wanted to do. But hard work beats talent every single time, Deji. Deji, I'm not talented at all. You are more talented than me. But fuck me, bro. I work way harder than you. And now you've officially become an easy stepping stone. People would happily fight you now. Your big credible name to boost an opponent's career and you're an easy fight because we all know your stamina is worse than Snorlax. All you need to do is survive, what, two rounds? And then we all know that you're gonna just do the knee for Black Lives Matter and then give up. Fam, you put black people back a hundred years with that loss. After that loss, I slept and I had a dream about me being in cornfields. You came out looking like Mike Tyson and ended up looking like Solomon in 12 years a slave. You came through to the ring wearing a cross but even Jesus couldn't save you. Jesus helps those that help themselves. And you didn't. <laughs> you simply did not help yourself at all. You were the only YouTuber to lose in the whole card. We're all looking at you like Meek in this photo. Disappointed. Now, not to take anything away from Vinny Hacker because clearly that man worked hard. Clearly that man trained and ultimately wanted to win it more than you. He actually took the fight seriously. So congratulations, Vinny Hacker. But let's be real, Deji. 
you lost to an anime character. Man came to the ring with a Naruto soundtrack as if this was the season finale. You lost to someone that likes to clean and dance in their spare time. And shout out to Vinny for being a sportsman after the fight and making sure you're all right, but God damn, Deji, what in hell? And I don't care if anyone thinks I'm being harsh. I'm your brother, okay? I'm gonna tell you how it is because clearly no one around you cares else they would never have let you lose like that. They didn't even have time to throw in the towel this time. You just have a bunch of yes men and women all around you that don't challenge anything you say or do. Like, did you even run during the camp? Did you, did you use a treadmill? Did you have a, a nutritionist? Did you have a physio? Did you, did you have a hard spa? Did you ever lose a spa? Did you do any cardio or did you just work on the left cross the whole fucking time? And what was your plan B when that failed? I'll tell you what it was. You gave up. Did you honestly take this fight seriously? Vinny Haggis said that he was just doing this fight for the money, but if you were a neutral and you didn't know anything, you would think that you, Deji, were the person doing the fight for the money. You thought you could bully Vinny. You thought you could intimidate him with your power. <laughs> you thought you were going to make him give up, but he didn't. Mine said, fuck that. I, I got the Naruto Pain theme tune running through my veins. And he fought back. Vinny Hacker was ready for round three. While you were busy trying to summon some energy from every black leader <laughs> with that knee from Martin Luther King to Malcolm X to Nelson Mandela. You legit had a one minute break after a round and said, nah, fuck that, I need more. <laughs> and then you took a knee. I've never seen that in my life. I, cu I couldn't believe it. Ultimately, at the end of the day, you closed up and you gave up. Dirty man. Don't ever box again. Don't ever box again until you work on your cardio. Here's a challenge for you, Ditch. Try doing a 10K without stopping. Is that possible? Is that too much to ask? Because maybe then I'll know that you're somewhat serious about working out. Maybe then I'll know you have some self-discipline or some work rate. It's not about what trainer you have, Ditch. The problem is you. You don't know hard work if it punched you in the face. And it punched you so many times in the Jake fight. So yeah, I feel sorry for you. I, I, I want you to do well, but it, it really is all on you. Why do you think I'm in the position I'm in today? Why do you think I'm so successful? Because I'm lazy? I'm a black man. I have to work two, three, four times as hard as a normal person just to gain the same success. Many might call it unfair, but that's just how it is. So deal with it. Don't just fucking complain all the time. Put in that work and win. You can't cheat boxing, did you? Because eventually when you get in that ring, we all find out who really worked the hardest. You said that you train five times a day. Where? In McDonald's. Five times a day, looking like this. You're delusional. You want to get out of my shadow? Start putting in that work. It's as simple as that. When you finally figure that out, watch your life change for the better. And yeah, that's it. That's it. Spin your boy kids out of GWT. I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace. He needs to hear this. It's the only way he, he'll get through his fixed goal, man.